Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Latif's Inspired. Today I'll be doing a coriander fish, a traditional Bengali dish curry uh, with a slight twist to it with a garnish of coriander. The coriander is the main ingredient as well as obviously the fish. Um, one of my friends is Pakistani and he loves the fish curry but he can't handle the bones. So I've created a dish, um, it's, it's boneless white fish fillets, I'm going to use tilapia. Uh, it's got a nice fishy earthy uh, taste to it and hopefully you will enjoy this if you try it at home. Very subtle, very flavoursome and a traditional Bengali dish for you guys to enjoy. Thank you. Right, the beautiful ingredients now I'm going to show. Right, I'm going to need a knob of butter, a nice good size, about one and a half inch cubed. Although it doesn't look cute because I've been using it. Um, I've got some sliced green peppers and red peppers, capsicums. These are very nice for presentation and it's also got a nice flavour to it. Uh, nice sweetness of the red peppers. I'm going to use uh, green chilies. I can't cook without green chilies. Love them. And it's going to bring out some beautiful flavour as well as natural spice. This is test pata, which is bay leaf. I'm going to use that for a nice fragrance and presentation. I've grated one medium British onion. I'm going to use some mustard seed. Bengalis love mustard flavour. I'm going to use garlic, spices, uh, a couple of teaspoons of ground um, coriander, some chilli powder, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of turmeric. This is uh, mustard oil, so it's nice, pungent, very good. It's got high heat to cook with. Bengalis cook it with it all the time. I've just grated uh, about two large tomatoes, which I'm going to use. It's going to have a beautiful flavour, it's going to thicken up the gravy. Right, now this is the star ingredient, which is the white fish fillets. You can use any. Go to Asda, get some bassa fillets or sea bass or whatever. I'm using tilapia because it's a sort of Bengali fish. Uh, I'm going to marinate the fish with half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of chilli powder with a bit of mustard oil and just when I'm frying it I'm going to powder it with a bit of flour so it doesn't stick to my pan guys so here it is right I'm going to marinate the fish guys um, I've got the spices ready so I'll just show you how I'm doing it so step one all the ingredients are ready for me step two now guys so here are those marination spices I'm just going to use one that's about two tablespoons of mustard oil. In fact, I'm going to use three. Mix it up a bit. I've got my gloves on, so no complaining, guys. I'm going to use two fillets, but because me and my cameraman, we're going to share, so I'm using a third one for this ingredient. It's enough for two. Beautiful colour that needs to be marinated. So the fish is marinated guys. Uh, leave this in the fridge for about 20 minutes to about half an hour and then start the cooking process. I'm going to heat up a slightly large pan which I'm going to uh, fry the fish with. So non-stick is good, a tava is good, so whichever you uh, you can find. It has to be pretty large so the fish, you know, you can place the fish. Others you'll be doing one by one and that'll take forever. So I'm going to start the process guys. So about medium heat guys in a large pan. Wait for the smoke to slightly appear. Right, I'm going to put, this is vegetable oil. So about a couple of chef spoons, about, about four tablespoons that is of oil. You just need to fry the fish first. So you need to heat up the oil. It needs to be really hot otherwise the fish is going to stick to the pan, which we do not want. So give that a few minutes guys. Right, the fish, um, a little technique, secret technique, <laughs> a little tip. So just slightly dust the fish. 
with flour. If you're using tilapia, there's a slightly flat side and a rough side. So flat side first. Bismillah. So this will take about two, three minutes each side, guys. It's been about a minute, guys. Um, I'm getting tempted, obviously, so will you, to see how the other side is. But have some faith, and hopefully it hasn't stuck because of our secret ingredient, which is the flour. Um, so give it a three minutes, guys. Make sure one side is cooked properly, and then we'll move on to the other side. So you can know the fish hasn't stuck because, voila. Should have a nice golden colour. Be careful when you're flipping it. Don't want to burn yourself. There you go. Look at that beautiful crust. That's what the flour has created. Now remember, if you want to cook gluten free, don't use flour. I think you can use. Um, Gram flour, which is the chickpea flour, if you're gluten free. See, I think about all you guys, all my viewers. So, two, three minutes, guys, again. Patience is a virtue. And then we're going to be start cooking the sauce. Right, the fish has been about a few minutes each side. Yep, it's got that golden, lovely colour. Please do not forget to add the flour. It's a lifesaver, especially when you run a busy restaurant. And fish is very delicate, it can break. So you need to know what you're doing, guys. Right, I'm going to start cooking this bad boy dish now. So. One, two, two of my chef's spoon of mustard oil. Now that's about three, if you're at home, use about three to four uh, tablespoon, guys, um, of mustard oil. If you don't have mustard oil, vegetable oil is fine. Um, not butter. I wouldn't say ghee as well because fish needs a clean, nice taste to it. So let that heat up. Right, this is the teaspoon of mustard oil. Sorry, mustard seeds. So that needs to be heat, heated up to liven it up, obviously. Now, normally, these mustard seeds start popping. So if you hear a snap, crackle and pop, you know they're ready guys. I can hear it, can you hear it? Not yet? There you go, can you see it's jumping, it's popping, that's when you know. So I'm going to add the onions now guys. Just less than one cup of uh, grated onions, that is. I'm going to put the gas a bit down. Oh, beautiful. Smell of mustard, mustard seed, onions. Beautiful. This is my bay leaf. So two of these bay leaves go in. Now, my chilli. As you know, all I do is just sort of give it a little cut so um, it stays whole and it releases the seeds and the flavors so they go in now these are my sliced peppers lovely for presentation and it brings out a beautiful flavor some water to hand just in case I need to loosen it up Right, I'm going to 
add some salt now, guys. So you can use, I would say, a good half a teaspoon. Obviously, salt to taste. You can add more or less. Or none at all. This is kasuri methi guys, so it's about a teaspoon. I always crush it. English. Very nice. In English. That's the kasuri methi, so fenugreek leaves that is guys. Sorry, I've started to believe that you're all experts now. <laughs> Since you're, you join my program, my channel. Right, the onions are caramelizing beautifully. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water, just to loosen it up, steam it up. I just want the rawness to go away. Now, for one flavor, I'm using one, and a half good uh, portion of garlic. This is gonna be absolutely flavorsome dish, I promise you. You need to try this at home. If you haven't tried fish because you're scared or whatever it is, you must try this thing. It's a must try before you die. <laughs> right, it's been cooking for a few minutes. So the spices, a couple of teaspoons of coriander. You need to have a nice coriander flavor for, the, for, for fish dishes, especially this one. Half a teaspoon of chili. If you like madras shrimp, use two teaspoons. If you like vindaloo, use four teaspoons. Well, try to use less to bring out the flavor of the dish. And then half a turmeric. Teaspoon of turmeric, that was. So now, the grated tomatoes. One. Two. About four tablespoons of grated tomato. It's got seeds and all. I'm not really fussed. Look at the colour, it's fantastic. So this needs to cook out for about a few minutes. Um, I'm going to put my lid on and keep an eye on it and let that cook out for a few minutes. So it's been about a minute guys. I don't want the sauce to stick to the pan because it's still sort of raw. You can always have a little taste now if you think you might need some sugar if you want to spice it up. Uh, sorry, salt if you want to spice it up. So it's been frying away for about two minutes. Like this, you can slightly taste it. Be, be careful, it's very hot. If you want to add a bit more chili powder for the heat or if you add a bit, uh, want to add a bit more salt. It tastes very nice to be honest with you right at this very moment. Right, I'm gonna loosen up now. Bit of water. Right, I'm gonna add the fish in a couple of minutes. I just want this to cook out slightly. 
When the oil is sort of released to the top, that's when I'll be adding the fish, guys. Believe you me, this is very pungent, it's very flavoursome, and it looks and tastes absolutely divine. It's been about a minute. Right, I'm gonna add the fish now. Here's the fish. It's not gonna be overcooked if you're worried about that. Reason being, you've cooked it already, the sauce is nearly, nearly done. Now, I'm gonna loosen up a little bit of water. Put the sauce on top of the fish. Right, the fish is covered with my sauce. Put the lid on. Cook it for a few minutes on a medium high heat. So it thickens up like a boona style. Now, I think the fish is ready. Literally 15 to 20 minutes cooking time, guys. Very quick, very easy to do so. If you're, if you're cooking at home, if you're having a nice, beautiful day, nice and easy for you guys to do. And if you wanna make an impression, Look at this. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Alex, zoom in, mate. This is phenomenal. I'm going to plate this up, guys. I'm going to use a spatula, guys. It's so my fishes don't break. I normally serve two fillets per person. But as in this case, me and Alex, we're going to share. Now for the ingredient, the main ingredient to top it up, to garnish it and flavour it. So this is coriander, one bunch, use all of it if you want, use half of it, whatever you fancy, how you like it. So. Here's some I've cut earlier, and I'm gonna start making it now. So, heat up the pan again, guys. For the last bit, I forgot to mention this. You need a, a good wedge of lemon, and the butter, and obviously the coriander. So, nice knob of butter, let that melt. You must use butter, good old English butter. It is the best in the world. Right, that's heated up now. I'm gonna use one, two handfuls of coriander. Now that cut, now you need the looseness, wetness of the fish, I mean the lemon. And remember lemon and fish, combination of heaven. quick I can smell the lemon I can smell the butter and the coriander now this is literally a dish to die for coriander fish guys Right, I'm salivating, I'm, I can't wait to try this dish. As I said, I've modified the dish, I've added the mustard seed, I've added a nice little touch to it, and a very authentic Bengali dish. If you're cooking this for any Bengali, trust me, they'll be really happy. It'll be better than their mothers at home, I promise you that, coming from Latif myself. Right, if you really enjoyed these tips, and you really think that you found this useful information, and if you try this at home, and you must try it at home, and I'm promise you you'll enjoy it don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel we're nearly on 20,000 guys we want to get to 100,000 
by the end of this year. So make sure you help and push this channel through. So thank you very much for tuning in, guys.